have had YouTube royalty join themselves today for the electrical ramble. I don't know about royalty. Yeah, okay. you yeah, absolutely. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's me, Matt, and Joe. <laughs> So Luke Richard's been downstairs in the workshop with us lads, hasn't he? And what's he been up to, Joe? Uh, so we did uh, a nice chat about um, Luke's uh, experience uh, from apprenticeship to self-employed, which was really interesting and really valuable. Bit of Q&A, which seemed to, to really zone in on people not paying, didn't it? Properly, that's all the lads <laughs> wanted to know to, to start with. Uh, so I don't there's, know what that was. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff you don't get taught, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. You, um, you know, just have to learn the hard way. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, we uh, we ended up doing a fantastic masterclass that Luke did for us on the uh, Discord uh, terminating, uh, which we've got some lovely footage of. What do you call up. it? Distribution board, consumer unit. Uh, I call what Fuse you made board. off a consumer unit. Yeah. Consumer unit. Yeah. I think in like industry, they seem to get called um, disc boards, yeah. Yeah. but then in like houses, yeah. they get called the consumer yeah. unit. Don't yeah. Yeah. Consumers. Well, is that because yeah. they're the consumer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly, my, yeah, to my mind, I always think a consumer unit is a, is a single phase board, yeah, and a distribution board is a three yeah. phase board. That's so maybe if it's feeding other boards, it's distributing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah technically, yeah, I guess yeah. So, yeah. And I suppose if it's got like three O three sixes in it, it's a fuse board. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, okay. okay. cleared that up then. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this video. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> I hope you notice that we've got matching mugs. Well, the people with normal size hands have matching mugs. Do you agree with that, Matthew? You've got a normal yeah. size mug in your yeah. hand, a normal size mug here. Yeah. Cheers. And then we've got, of course, we've got Joe with his massive size mug. So they're drinking out of thimbles. I'm yeah. drinking out of a normal size mug. So we, we put it up on the big screen, didn't we, today? And hopefully if that footage comes off, Matt, what did it look like from learner point of view, that consumer unit change? So obviously the consumer unit was a, was it a 10-way consumer unit? It was, yeah, 5 plus 5. Dual RCD. Although, Mark, actually, no, there was one spare way, so 10% spare. Yeah. Is it got to be across the whole board or per RCD? Uh, probably. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I hope this video. Don't <laughs> <laughs> no, get on too early again. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ending it yet. These are meant to be anyway, 15 minutes long. Go on, back to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, so the uh, camera was on the um, this board or consumer unit. Um, and then projected onto a much bigger screen, probably a 60 inch screen. So all the students, mm. there was what, 30, 40 There's students. There's more than 30, yeah. I can't remember. So obviously they couldn't all watch Luke doing the um, this board from where he was sat. So it was all projected onto this great big screen and every student in there was just mm. focused. literally focused. Mm. Mesmerized, I think the word would yeah. be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Did we hear any noise? No, someone's That's... phone did go off, but he yeah. very quickly turned yeah. it off and I don't think that. No. I don't think that well, We didn't get a repetition of that, did no, we? No, we didn't. No. So, so that was brilliant to see, and hopefully we're trying to get that footage off at the moment, and we'll look to get that up within a couple of weeks, yep. along with the Q&A session that we had as well. So that's 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 what today's looked like. Uh, moving forward, what we got going? Anything great going on next week, Joe? Do you want so, uh, next week, oh, nothing, well, nothing well, at all? Well, we've got a couple of things going on, haven't we? We're, nothing, you know, nothing Gary's off to another award ceremony. <laughs> Glad we brought that up early in the ramble. People don't get past five minutes. They must know I'm going to so an award good. ceremony. So that, that, that's, that's good. So, uh, yep. So that's exciting. The Lighting Awards, the Lux Lighting Awards. It is. Down at the Continental O2 Hotel. Intercontinental Intercontinental. O2. Sorry. I missed a couple of syllables, Inter syllables on there. My Sham apologies. Sham can't come ahead. What does the inter mean instead of the continent? Uh, well, what? continental would be across one continent. Intercontinental and, yeah. would be across more than one continent. Thank God you oh, read, Joe. Yeah, we, we, I would have been completely lost on that one. He threw me under a bus there. <laughs> it's fantastic. So, yeah. So, <laughs> Joe's jo jo just got no one to argue with. Yeah, no, he hasn't. Uh, so <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> So Luke's going to update us, what you've been up to uh, content wise we've got coming up on your channel then, My Trusted Electrician, what are we going to expect to see? There may be, Maybe. which wasn't planned, there may be an, another kitchen rewire, just a very small one, just because I made a few mistakes on the previous one, I got some measurements wrong, but going through my um, one of my reg books, which I'll go through, it's, it's actually a book I really enjoy, it's called the, um, I think it's the, what's it, the, the Buildings Guide, the Guide to Building Regulations, yeah. yep. something yeah, like that, I can't remember the name of it. The Green. That's the one, I do love that, it's one of my favourite books, it's, it's like um, the on-site guide meets building regulations, so mm. that's, that's a very good book for anyone that's done a bit of house bashing. Uh, that might appear, and um, what I have got planned though is I've got a toolbox video. Oh right. Yeah, a, um, what's the word, like a little, what's not, a toolbox. Toolbox talk. Toolbox talk, oh, yeah. Nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go through, I've got, I've got, I bought a new tool bag, 
I thought it was a perfect opportunity as I was sort of like moving stuff from my toolbox to my tool bag to go for a little talk of what maybe anyone that's going out into the industry what might be good just to start off with. Oh, right, okay, that's a great it's, idea. It's yeah. one of the things yeah. on Domestic Installer. Yeah. Um, mm. After a few weeks, we get all the students to bring their tools in and mm. what they're using in industry. Yeah. And just sort of say, and I'll bring in what I'm using. That's right, and, and I suppose, sort of, yeah, depending on what you do, I mean, yeah. it's not always going to be the same, is it? I no. think, I, I mean, I do like a lot of domestic now. I used to do a lot of commercial and industrial, but I found that the domestic is quite a little bit more relaxed and that's a very rule of thumb and so I've sort of stuck with that a little bit more now and I suppose there is almost like a rule of thumb tool bag to have with you yeah. if you're going and doing like a little doing some job in and yeah. some small yeah. jobs and well, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see as well I take you, you've got several different makes in there or do you just stick with one make look what a tool wise yeah so when we open your toolbox are we going to go through uh, you, know, you know the age of collecting so do you know what I do have a lot of old stuff in there like I, I am a little bit pernickety I like I mean, your screwdrivers have all got a match, haven't they? You've got to do that. Mm. And your oh, cutters yeah. and that have all got a match as well. But I've got a few things. Like I've got um, sets of grips and things like that that I've had ever since I was an apprentice. And you, you just can't throw away that stuff, can you? No, not the apprentice yeah. kit. No. You know, yeah. You've had it from birth yeah. almost, haven't you? Yeah. That, that pair I've, of adjustable grips. I've still grips. got a pair of pliers. Yeah. And they were a big pair of pliers that uh, someone gave me when yeah. I started working. Uh, as an apprentice, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I've, I've, yeah, I've still got those. Yeah, I've still got those pliers, and they'll yeah. they'll be in my kit now until I mean, maybe until the next generation. Oh, uh, right. Oh yeah, nothing you know. better than getting a handed down pair of pliers, yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I've got a little um, deburring tool. Yeah, and so it's an internal, external yeah, yeah. deburrer. Yeah. I think it's an RS tool, and you just literally so conjure um, if you've um, drilled out a hole, yeah. a twenty mil hole, anything. And it just yeah. does both it sides. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's the sort of tool that you never talk about. Mm. In, well, we are now. Yeah. Well, we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've seen to have brought it up now. Yeah. So, My old man's got, like, he was, he was a carpenter and he's got a load of tools which he keeps trying to pass on to me. And I have to keep explaining to him that we don't use those pump action screwdrivers anymore. Let <laughs> <laughs> alone the fact it's got a thousand volt inch. I like the guy who used to put up ceiling roses. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, brilliant. I don't <laughs> think that's a possible ceiling. It goes yeah. straight through it. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, Fantastic. Hey, you don't see them anymore, do you? No, I think there's a reason for that. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason for everything going out. Yeah. And that's, so, so, so that's coming up on your channel. We, we, we're yeah. doing, doing quite well on your channel. I see every time we drop, we dropped a video, it's what, four or five more, days ago? A little five, six thousand yeah, views? It's getting a little bit more frequent. It, and it was never intended to. It was supposed to just be here, there. Every, you know, yeah. every time I do a, a new task, I'd try and film it. And it'd just be something else that could go out for... Uh, mm -hmm. If I did a quotation for a customer and they wanted a fuse board, I'd send them a fuse board video. As a how, how, how would you, um, when, when you go and do your video, how would you approach the customer? Yeah, well, customer. asking wise. Yeah. yeah. I, I just have to ask. I say, do you mind if you, uh, if I chat to myself in your garden or in your house, and I, you know, I might use it on my website or on, mm. on YouTube. So I'll, I'll be honest, no one's ever said no yet. Mm. I think they just, I don't think it's a question they used to be asked. So it's a little bit new to them. Mm. I know my yeah. wife would be saying, well, we can't have it in this room because it's yeah, not it's tidy. Not tidy enough, yeah. I haven't done any dusting in this room, so can you not do it here? You'd end up having to be like a downstairs cloakroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you, you do feel weird doing it. It's it, Once you start doing it, it gets easier. But the first time you do it, it's, it's the hardest thing to do because you're just talking to yourself. Yeah. yeah. And you just got to keep going. Yeah. And you, you start, like, there's nothing worse than the sound of your own voice on an yeah. edit as well. What you've got to be worried about, I suppose, is if you're good at it, like, you're probably on the verge of madness, aren't you? Because it's, it's, yeah. it's natural. You're good to at you. talking yeah. to yourself. Yeah, you're, yeah. Very, yeah. you're good at talking to yourself mm. in an empty room. Yeah. yeah, and that's why after 167 videos I did on my own, I was pleased when Joe Robinson turned <laughs> up. But equally, at that moment in time, we had outtakes videos because everything became really everything, funny. Everything fell apart at that yes, point, didn't at it? That yeah. point, Came yeah. together and fell apart at the same time. We were very professional up at that point, weren't we, Matt? You know, you were on top with Matt, didn't we? no outtakes on that. I think you were called one take, Matt, weren't you? When you were on, you know, how many hours of footage did I have to cut down to 12 minutes and things 12. like that? <laughs> Eight hours <laughs> to do one job. But one take. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Long take. <laughs> the amount of times I'll be half edited your video and I think this is brilliant, yeah. this is brilliant. And then you go, no, guys, I'm going to cut that off. You're going to kill me. I'm going to do it again. And I'm like, oh, just edited the first 15 <laughs> minutes of that. I didn't watch it all first. Look, I have to start again. Oh, shelve it out. Let's go again. Do you so, find the jobs when you're, um, when you're filming on site, they take longer? They do. They take a considerable amount more time to do. It's, um, I think you're a little bit more cautious of what you do and mm -hmm. say because, um, you know, you, you're you're there for, there's scrutiny out there. There are a lot of people who mm. say you, sh you shouldn't do like this, or you shouldn't do mm. like this. So you sort of judge your work a little bit more and you sort of, it, it does take a little bit longer. Mm. I, I have noticed that in the past. And um, I'll be honest, you don't really, you don't earn anything from doing it on YouTube. No. no. And let's get out early. Let's reiterate that point. Yeah. Have you got a Lamborghini? 
Mm. Or just one. Yep. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. We've got one each, so um, you must have one as well. Oh, well, of course, yeah. He does yeah. charge well, by the hour. I'll tell you what, it wasn't cheap getting the, the roof rack right, on. But not, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's purely because you enjoy doing it. Purely yeah. because, obviously, you know, you like the feedback to the majority of the time that you get. The same yeah, as I'll us, be honest. The majority of the feedback's good. I, I've had a few bits come in from learners, and I think that's what sort of encourages you because mm. they do leave some very nice comments, and oh. you think, I wasn't even doing it for you, yeah. and I didn't realise you'd be watching that. It's nice, do not it? Yeah. And then, what have you done today? And First you time ever? Y- You've done a beer, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> and had a bunch of learners who knew who you yeah. were. We want to have yeah, a that nerve wracking. That's I'm not saying I sell to. I'm, I'm I'm no different to the sparks that lives next door, or you know, like I'm just a normal guy. I just happen to film it, so I don't think I'm anything special. So it's weird for me to be in here. I would probably be saying exactly the same thing that the next guy would be saying. It just seems weird that I've had the opportunity to do it. Yeah, yeah but you took that opportunity, and this yeah. is where the three of us are grateful, and the, the 45 learners that are in today, yeah. is that you've driven a five-hour round trip, which he hasn't said to you. He's done a five-hour round trip. There is no money. There is, of course, the limited mug. edition <laughs> mug. Yeah, okay, for a five-hour. You haven't got paid today, so what are you going to be doing on your day off tomorrow then, Luke? Because obviously you didn't get paid any wages today. Chasing out a wall. So, what, so that sounds like you might be working tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So, of course, and we're great. I'll be videoing it. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. That's, that's good, then, isn't it? But again, gave a day's pay today. Yeah. So, of course, he's giving up a yeah, half a could, day tomorrow with the wife. Tomorrow. We could drive up and see you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't drive anywhere to help anyone out. I wouldn't. No, 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 no. My time's my own. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's all, all good. So, Matt, what are you up to? Because uh, we've got some on site when Matt's coming. So now you're in shot. What are we going to be recording for you on on site with Matthew? So we did the uh, did a video last week. Did you? Which you're on the on the what um, was that, on the light on the contactors. Yeah. We got some contact so control. We did that in the classroom though. We What's did? the difference between a contact and a relay? Joe, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my understanding is uh, they're, they're basically this. the same it's thing, the uh, but they, they, they use this exactly the same principle. Uh, it's a mechanical it switch using a coil. Uh, a contactor is just a heavy duty. Heavy, relay. heavy duty, yes. Okay. Well, is there an ampage that you'd have to reach before you can call it a contact? Uh, yes. Yeah, what's that? I don't know. Is it, is, it, is it the difference between, is it voltage? Is it like 12 volt? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or maybe Comment below. Below, below 50 volt relay, above 50 volt contact. It's, I don't think it's No, it's not a voltage because you can get 230 volt yeah. coil relays. Yeah, uh, so it's yeah. not it's not not quite that simple. Always think relay car comments. Yeah, yeah. So always think yeah. relay in a car. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so so, so yeah, bad, I mean, we've, we've installed relays in backgrounds on site. We, we installed relays on lo- uh, flats that were back to back that used the same extraction system, and both lights needed to bring on the extractor in separate buildings without turning separate the flats. lights on. Yeah. Using the so, if, so if the guy system, next door went to the toilet, it would my turn, fan would turn on. Yeah, but it was it was in a common area. The, the actual like suction part. So it, there wasn't like literally a fan inside your bathroom that would turn on, it would just start to extract remotely. Oh, right, okay. But we had to Extracted use power. relays to operate that so that they didn't turn each other's bathroom lights on. When they went in. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because <laughs> that, that would have been interesting. I, I on an occasion had to go fix a, fix a fan because someone decided to put a dimmer switch on the bathroom lights. And I was quite surprised, but it did actually dim the fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah control the speed the fan of it, yeah, yeah, down, yeah. Nice. Yeah. speed control, yeah, that's yeah. good. <laughs> so yeah. we, but we've um, done the video for that. Yep, we have. And so, well, you're in the process of um, editing, editing it. Yeah, so we've got one on that. Um, you found that board down in the workshop last week. I did as well. So we've um, we've turned that into a into a um, just a two pole contact. We put a two pole contactor in there. We did. And um, and one of the things that we didn't talk about on the video too much is what the how much current is actually going through the coil as opposed to the contactor. So video two will pick up so, that, that information. Yeah. It? So we 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 put some a couple of small ammeters, one um, in line with the uh, coil and the other in line with the contactor. And that and looks so then, that looks really that looks good, good as well, doesn't it? It does really look good. Yeah. Joe, what have you got coming up? Uh, I'm working on editing the footage from the Collingwood visit last week. Okay. Uh, so I'm just, uh, putting those together. Uh, we've still got. Uh, I want to continue with the resistors in series because uh, we've covered Ohm's law now, and we want to start talk, talking about volt graph across resistors. Okay. So we need to shoot some new footage on that. Uh, and we've got lots, lots of little bits and bobs in the bag. There's still the magnetism video coming Ooh. up, which I can't Get wait it. to release. I love but that's that good. That's gonna. Oh yeah. I yeah, it's all over that, it? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. With that in mind, we might have a sneaky board coming soon. We're yes. fingers crossed. We might have another Loctronics yeah. board in the, in yeah, the pipeline, which would be properly exciting. Which is someone helping us out very yeah. kindly. Yeah, from out there. Um, my exciting news 
is that I think today I can almost confirm I've been given permission across our channel, of GSH Electrical and on Ooh, Joe Robinson for, training. Yeah. For go on, what were you going to say? Uh, I was thinking something else, but you've got me on the right track now. Uh, learner, learners can feature in our videos again. Get in there. Which is really exciting. Okay, so we um, were and just just on, on that when we um when we were just given that news to the learners in the classroom uh, an hour ago, the amount of excitement yeah, in the classroom. Cheering. There, there was people yeah. like. Uh, Pumping, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really are. So we understand these videos don't get a huge amount of people watching them and we understand that but we enjoy doing them and again the learner ones probably pick up six or seven interviews but from my point of view, Matt's point of view and Joe's point of view it only needs to pick up the father, the mother, yeah. the nan, the, the auntie, auntie the uncle, yeah. of all the people that are starring in that video because all of a sudden from school they've said when I leave school I'm going to be the guy who plays games, I'm going to be the guy who's a YouTuber, well mm. at last they can appear on a YouTube video in, in a constructive way and I think we all believe that it's helping them have them skills for interviews, quick fire questions, yeah, you know, under not, pressure. Well you say it doesn't get many views, I mean it's, it's on there for eternity yes. so you might not get a, a vast amount of views within like a month or so but it's always there. Yeah. If you, I mean someone's going to ask a question one day and it's going to be, your, your thing's yeah. going to highlight it so yeah. it's, it's always going and to be there, it's a fantastic piece of information for people to look at for generations to come. Cheers yeah. And, and the, the, the other thing is is that they don't sort of, they don't realise it now but in 20 years time that footage is there. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to be able to go back 20 years when I was apprenticeship in yeah. the workshop that I yeah. was at. Um, yeah. And so if you went back twenty years, though, you must have been really old when you yeah, started your yeah, apprenticeship. Yeah. Yeah. It would be hard to tell though, because <laughs> yeah. it would all be in black and white. So you, you wouldn't know what oh. colour the cables were in the video, would you? It'd be like, watch, it'd be like playing yeah. snooker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the um, yeah, that, that's that's yeah, just enough of that. Just <laughs> <laughs> cut. Yeah, no, there's no cut. This just runs. <laughs> you know, it, it's, they don't realise it now. But looking back. In, in uh, yeah, yeah, that, you know, yeah. I'd love to look back yeah. to when I was. Well, do you know, it's, a, it's yeah. a funny thing because I went to college uh, at Leicester, Cal Leicester College, which uh, at the time it was called Charles Keane, the Abbey Park campus. And actually, the building that I learned in isn't there anymore. It's been knocked down and it's been, there's been new yeah. buildings put up. And I, I, fi I feel quite sad about that yeah. because, you know, the college that I went to where I did my learning. That place doesn't yeah. exist anymore, you know, and that, that makes me a little bit sad, really. So the fact that they've got a lot about footage, the college, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, it was never the same after <laughs> I left, you know. <laughs> Went downhill after that. No, but um, yeah, I didn't think of it. Like, and again, yeah. now reflect on that with me spending 16 years out of Wellingborough College. Mm. I've taught there as a 16 year old lad and yeah. worked there. Yeah. I've got no, no footage no, no, inside no, that no, building, no, no. only memories that'll mm. only fade. Mm. So, yes, yeah, so it's good I didn't think of that. And from, from I think from our point of view, if we continue to keep doing it for year after year after year, we'll have a, a collection of videos that involve learners that I will have forgotten their name but remember their face. Yeah. Yeah. So, from my point of view, that would be also equally helpful. That, that would be good. Wow. So, remember the nicknames. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we won't do. Don't yeah. do too many of them now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Remember, PG, PG. You, sorry, you, not PG. <laughs> So yeah, so we've all got some exciting news. So we've got some some more Luke videos. We've got some more on site with Matt's. Joe's still developing science and principles. And yes, the learners are back in my videos. Yeah, so happy well, days. Happy days. Yeah. So I'll try and shoot one as soon as I can. Doing something. I don't know what it will be. Perhaps we'll continue on. They're yeah. laying out consuming units at a minute. Luke's done a masterclass on it. Perhaps they can they can go through some of the information that Luke's portrayed out for us today. Yeah, so that's good really stuff. good. So Luke's going to get a. He's already gone a couple of times earlier. Should I we, think. Should yeah, we let him lead the way? On yeah, this well, one? well, I don't. Well, yeah. I don't know. He's, if he's going to yeah. get it wrong, we, there'll be just a retake. There will be no edit. Thumbs up the ready. I hope this video 